We're going to be the first ones in the states, in the USA, to taste test this 18-year brook lot. Here we are. First opening in the USA. Glass top. Ooh, that sounded good. <laughs> Happy Saturday, everyone. I have a bottle of Brook Lottie's brand new 18 year. I've been drinking it for maybe 24 hours, not continuously, only had a little bit. Shared it with some friends last night, and I'm gonna enjoy it again now as I tell you about it a little bit. So we opened this bottle up last night, and uh, cheers myself. Enjoyed it with some friends. And we talked about it a little bit. I did my rating, which will follow in this video, but the initial opening where I talk about how to open this paper coating that covers the glass bottle. A little more on that. But I did want to just get right up front, out of the way, the review aspect and what I think and the value is here. So I'm going to take a little sip. Mm, mm -mm. It's good. It's very, very good. When I don't think about the branding, when I don't think about the age statement, the price, I think it is very good. How good is it? How does it compare to the others in the market? That's a good question. Would I buy this again? Yes, I would. What would I pay for it? I think $200 is a great price. Now, MSRP in the United Kingdom is 150 pounds. In America, they're saying it's going to be 180 I expect there to be considerable markup. In the state I live in, Virginia, right now, it'll probably be around $250. But $180 for an 18-year, that is a phenomenal price. If you see that, get it. How does it compare to the other ones in the market? Well, I think this one was a little overhyped now that I, I've sat on it, enjoyed it. You know, I, I drank it last night, and I was, wow, this is good. I was expecting a little bit more. Later in the night, which you'll see here, another clip, I said, when I think the whiskey alone, when I try to enjoy the liquid, I smell it, I taste it, I don't think of the brand, I don't think of the price or the percentage of alcohol, it's a wonderful, enjoyable dram of whiskey. However, I put a lot of hype into this, and Brook Lottie did as well. There's some amazing things going on here. It's from their first fully grown batch of barley in Isle. Now, Brooklade shut down in 1995. It was bought out in 2000 and started producing in 2001. So they've had some age statement releases since then, but never an 18 year from fresh distillation since it was restarted in 2001. So this is a real treat. A lot of new technology went into not just the distillate, but the packaging, the glass stopper, the little rubber grommet, the paper recycled shell, if you will, moving away from the tin that they used to do. The glass is 60% recycled. And I think with the redesign of the bottle, there's 40% less weight or glass, I can't recall, but it's a really cool bottle. They always have really nice designs rather than the standard round bottle that you'd see on Brook Lotte's Black Art release. This is what a lot of different brands use. So overall, yes. Is it worth the money? Absolutely. Is it overhyped? Big time. Would I buy it again? Yes. What would I pay at a bar? I think this is a good $35, $40 dram at a bar. I wouldn't pay more than $50 for a drink of this. Actually, I wouldn't pay $50 for this at a bar. So if you don't want to spend $180 or $200 on the bottle in America, 
and you should start seeing it throughout April and near the end of March all across America. Again, this is a new standard release continuously following up, but for $180, $200 for an 18-year single malt, wow, it's a, it's a good buy. It's a good buy. Ignore the name. Ignore the alcohol percentage. Ignore everything that it's finished in or all the new tech. Pour yourself a dram, take a sip, and just think on the liquid. It's enjoyable, and I think it's worth the money. Off to the clip where I open it for the first time, and then following that, what I think a few hours later. But it's the next day, and I think it's excellent. Happy Saturday, happy March 2024. I have in front of you 18-year Brook Lottie. This is their first 18-year, first old age statement since they restarted production in 2001. Now, there's a lot of things different about this bottle from the start. Brooklady's made a lot of strides in becoming a B Corporation. What does that mean? We're not going to talk about this time. We're going to be the first ones in the States, in the USA, to taste test this 18-year Brooklady. Now, what's interesting about this is a complete redesign on the bottle. They have a glass top with a rubber grommet inside there to seal it. No cork is used on this. And then this looks like a leather case, actually. And I will say it's not easy to take off, but it's recycled paper. So they're not issuing tin anymore. The bottles overall are far smaller, less material used, even more efficient with resources. But to take this off, this little notch here, it doesn't just pop off. You're gonna have to get your fingernails in there, a knife, and almost rip it off. It's, it's, it's on there very, very well. And then it opens up to reveal this beautiful bottle. It's that standard Brooklady Blue, 18 years. Again, this was produced when they started up in 2001 after shutting down in 1995. This is aged entirely on Isla. It's aged in ex-bourbon cast, some port, some Santernays. And I'm really interested to check out this flavor. But as Mark and I always say, if you're going to try something you should new, compare it to something you know, and that gives you a good comparison. So another Brooklady release, Black Art. This is their 10.1, an annual release where this is going to be part of their new standard lineup with their redefining luxury. So plastic wrap on the top here. Let's rip that open. This, I am very excited for this. I love Brooklady. They always have amazing releases. And again, Brooklady is an Isla, but it is not heated. It is non-heat where uh, any release from Brooklady is not peated. Their Port Charlotte is peated. Their Octomora is heavily peated. So here we are. First opening in the USA. Glass top. Ooh, that sounds good. That smells good. That smells good. Mm, got a beautiful color to it. It doesn't look just like ex-bourbon cask. Check this cap out. Glass, rubber seal around it. I'm going to spin the bottle and pray that I don't spill anything here. Yeah, it's in focus, right? You, you can see that. You can see that. B Corp. All right. Here we go. Have my Glencairn crystal. That's some beautiful color there. Okay. First test, first test. What does it smell like? It smells like whiskey. Mmm. Mm -mm. I can stick my nose right in there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, this is a hundred proof, 50% alcohol, but it doesn't taste sharp. It's very smooth. It's an 18 year. I don't detect a lot of that port cask, not the sauternaise. This is a unique 18 year. There's no sherry cask influence uh, whatsoever that you could think of. Maybe there's a little bit of that port influence, but the flavors are just, mm, mm, mm. It's, it's just finishing up now on my tongue. So a, a medium to, to long finish, a little bit of honey there, still lingering, still lingering. Oh, I got fruit, some very, very light hints of the oak there. This is a completely different beast than the black art. Now I'm going to sip on that for a little while. So this 10.1 here that I'm comparing it to, it's 29 years old. 
and this was released in 2022. And the beauty of these releases is Adam Harnett, the master distiller, blender over there, really, really open about everything that they do, everything that makes the whiskey at Brook Lottie, Port Charlotte, Octomore, any of the releases is all pretty public. You know exactly what's going into it. You have no idea what black art is. You have no idea. So uh, it's, it's just amazing every time. It's always unique. So every year you got a new expression coming out. Vice, this is that very first release of Brook Lottie 18 years standard release to their lineup. They have a 30 year, considerably more money. We'll talk about money here in just a sec. Mm. Definitely a bit more intense on the nose. I smell a little bit more flavor on it or sense. This is 45.1% alcohol. This is 50% alcohol. Check the color out. That's very good. Black art is always good. But if you can see the color here, more yellow on the 18 year and the black art has some, some red to it. Yes, this is a Balvini crystal. Yes, they make a beautiful noise there. I love this glass. Picked it up at the Balvini distillery. But back to Brook Lade, these colors tell a lot about what cask this whiskey was finished in. I guarantee you this had some sh sherry in it. It's not published. I guarantee you there's some sherry in there. If you see it, pick it up. It is not available in the United States yet. You have to buy it and import it from Scotland. But this will be one of my, my new standard go-tos, especially for the price point compared to other 18 years out there. This is a $500 bottle. And you can buy it directly from Brook Lottie's website and have it shipped to you. But you do have the choice of a tin can. They have the 11.1 out. You can also buy directly from the website some of this if they have it in stock. Now, for a price point at this 18 year, it is 150 pounds. I'd say this is a, is a hell of a deal. It's probably cheaper to buy it in Scotland and have it imported though. So today I would say the winner is between the two. This 18 year is just too fresh. I love it. It's something different. I haven't had a release like this from Brooklady. And what I really like, what I really, really like, this is their first long age statement since they started production in 2001. They've had some younger releases, some 10 years, but an 18 year for $200. Now they're 30 years, it's got a black label. I'm going to have it somewhere. Probably not going to buy a bottle, but maybe I will. It's about $2,000 overall for that 30 year. But for today, we'll stick with 200. Cheers. Okay, so it's been a couple hours. I've enjoyed a couple more of these drams and have a slightly different take on it. If you watch my Glenn Fittich Grand Cru video, I was disappointed with that one. I didn't say I was disappointed with this, but as I walked away post this initial recording, which was a few seconds ago for you, but a couple hours ago for me, I was thinking, damn, I expected more. However, Watched the movie with my father, enjoyed a couple more drams. The name of what I was drinking, the thought of it just went away. And I just thought on the liquid and enjoyed it and smelled it and tasted it. And I really enjoyed it. However, Brooklady is my favorite distillery. And when I heard of this 18 year coming out, I was unbelievably excited because it's not a normal release. It's just these one time offerings from pre 2001, pre the new millennium, where you're getting these really old Brooklady releases. Granted, you have the black art, that's a different beast in itself, but coming up with a standard release is not an easy thing to do. It's, it's not like the independent bottles out there. One cast that you finish and you perfect, here you go. It's just only 300 bottles. How do you make a standard release with an age statement be phenomenal? Well, you have to blend a lot of different barrels to create that. And I think they did a really good job here for the price comparatively to the other 18 years out there that are big name brands. This is about half the cost. And I think it's better than quite a few. But my reference point and basis to compare it to black art is an unfair thing to do as well as the independent bottles. It's like trying to compare what your daily driver is as a car. Let's say you drive a Toyota Camry 
to your weekend car or your sports car that's a let's say a chevy corvette or a supercar of some sort you can't compare a supercar to a daily driver and that's kind of what i'm using here and it's a really bad comparison for a standard release versus a one-off single release that's new every time so long story short what i'm getting at I didn't say it in the few seconds ago, I didn't say it in my initial review, but when I walked away, I was like, damn, I actually was expecting more. But when I let the name go, when I let the age statement go, and I let any concept of what it should be and just tried to enjoy the liquid, it's really good. I enjoy it a lot. I think it's a phenomenal release for $200 at 18 years old. No sherry cask, which a lot of Scotch aficionados are leaning towards sherry cask. A blend of port, a blend of ex bourbon, a blend of, a blend of Santernays. I, I'm liking this. It may be one of my go tos for comparisons in the future. McAllen 18 sherry cask used to be my benchmark to compare a high quality whiskey. But this may be my new benchmark as a standard release product. How does everything scale to this for the price point? 